everybody, and welcome to SkyGrid. I'm your host, MCWDD, and welcome to the 59th revival of my channel. <laughs> okay, no, it's not really 59th. It may as well be, though, considering how many times I try and revive this thing, because I always fail at it. Let's try it again, though, because, uh, you know, apparently Minecraft is coming back. It's Captain Sparkle's getting on it, Seth Wing getting on it, and Vem's getting on it. So, of course, you got to have the best, your MCWDD. Alright, okay, 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 I'm kidding there, I'm not really the best, and oh, I don't have an ego, but, you know, I haven't been doing this for a while, and I do enjoy me a good game of Minecraft, so let's get into some SkyGrid. For those who don't know, SkyGrid was a uh, custom map challenge thing originally created by uh, Sethling. If you don't know who Sethling is, um, how do you call yourself a Minecraft? Okay, let's see, can I... Yes, that is Void. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and go for that wood. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Oh my gosh, this is trippy. Sorry, um, seizure warning, I guess, just in case, but, oh my gosh, it's trippy. How, what, what level are we at? There's like, uh, let's see, uh, why? 193, okay, and we have lava and diamonds. Gotta look out for that lava. And stuff, so let's, let's do the, you know, just general survival Minecraft, and that is sand. I didn't just... This is an interesting map. I, I, I haven't tried this. This is literally, like, I've seen Skygrid a little bit, but this is, like, my first time doing it. So let's get some wood. See, there's a chest up there. I want to go for the chest, but that's kind of, uh, in a way, dangerous. Oh, um... Actually, can I... I think I might just put on... I think just for this one, sorry. Um, game rule. Is this? I'll just type it in my hand. Is false. Okay, so let's just set that to true. I cannot spell true. Okay, just because um, just because of the difficulty. If okay, and if this doesn't go well, then then I will turn that off for the next episode, if I even do a next episode, because, um, well, you know me, you can't get on me to do the gaming videos, and, oof, see if I felt, see, when I land on wall, I think I'm back in my spawn, but, oh, I miss this music, like, I just love my craft. so, I'm not going to grab that one, just because it's kind of where I'm standing. Um, yay, I got the inventory. I get another piece of wood. I... Getting wood! I don't know. <laughs> what is this? Oh, jeez. Like, the blues get over these small, tiny little things. Eh. Okay, um, I should probably turn this into... So, the idea of Skygrid is to do general survival, and apparently there is a stronghold in this world somewhere, but that is scary lava. That is going to update as soon as I do something, so I'm going to be careful. Then we jumped into it then. No, 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 no! Oh, fuck. <sighs> you see, this is what I mean when it's. I say it's scary. Now, this is, um... See. I'll just punch the top one just so I can see. Okay, so we got a piston down there. That's nice. Um, okay, I'll, I'm going to jump to this one, then to that one, just so I can get that wood, and then that wood. Going to leave that cactus though. I don't want that to update, just because of updates. See, now I'm way away from my spawn now, and I don't even know what F, uh, what not F, uh, what Y am I at now? I'm at 173, so I fell 20 blocks. So that gives you a bit of perspective. I can talk. I can English. Oh, smack. See, again, again, again. Oh, wow. I think I just saw... I ever just saw a... Um, I don't know. I think I just saw the stronghold, though. So that is like... Yeah, see right there. You can see the stronghold. See what I gotta deal with? Oh, and I will be back. 
Okay, let's get back into it. Three, two, one, go. And I am back after dying a lot. I had to um, I fixed it though. I, I've just I just went to creative mode, flew back up to like 193. I did see the stronghold. I've moved away from it, and I've just set my world spawn right here. So I don't I don't know exactly where I did spawn initially, but I'm spawning here now. So I mean, it's wall. Actually, oh, that is where this is where I spawn. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no, that's a block update. That is. F Whew. Okay. Um, so, what I'm going to do. Is, um. Can I make a crafting bench? I could try and look for one, but why would I do that? I got benchmarking! So, what I'm going to do. Is just use that so I can just walk. I'm gonna wanna. Okay, actually, I'm just gonna set this to peaceful just for the first few things. Because the last thing I need is a creeper to go off and then. Jeez, I really hope that's not where the stronghold is. Because, I mean, I, like I said, I saw it, I've moved away, but I don't remember where exactly now. I mean, probably if I look back through the footage, but that is scary. I can see the water also updated. So. I think what I might do is I'll break that one. That's just going into the void now. Hmm, flower. Good. Oh well. Okay, so just because I I still do trust my my hardcore parkour skills, because this is Minecraft. You know what's Minecraft? Add a little parkour. Okay, break this one. I sh might take half a heart. I think. Hey, half a heart. Like I said, Minecraft theory. <laughs> Imagine that. Map pat. New channel. Minecraft theory. Hello, internet. Welcome to Minecraft theory. And I've probably just been flagged for copyright. No regrets. Okay. <sighs> Nearly fell off. I'm not even hitting shift. I should be shifting, but I don't want to shift because I don't need no shifting. So. I think what I want to do is just, I'm going to go out. Cause see, once you descend, it's like, I suppose I can make some stairs up to that. Let's, um... I should have enough, like, basic stairs. I know I'm going to, like, really off myself by doing this, but... But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. For a second there, I thought I was like going to go like adventure mode or something, thinking, no, like, you know, like, if you, you know, adventure mode, you can't break nothing. <laughs> okay, so I'll put that there. And just make some basics, you know, basic Minecraft. Ah, uh, yes. Da da da! Time to mine. Okay, so. I'm not going to take out this one. If I can get to that source though, I'll have to get to that at some point. Because I could always just kind of tower up. I'm not going to do that though. Sugar cane is annoying me though. Oh jeez, I feel so... Jeez, I wanted to come in and have a, a discussion, but I keep talking Minecraft theory. But, you know, that that's just the thing about Minecraft, and compared to Fortnite, it's unique, you know? Yes, I know, I'm MCWDD, Minecrafting with... Not Minecrafting, Minecraft with Daniel D. Yeah, you know, I've played other games, of course, because I'm a gamer. Well, I'm supposed to be, at least. So, that is bad. So, where is my nearest... See, every time you take a step in this one, you got to be like... What you want you doing? Like this is like just how did no one play this? I just want to get back into these things, you know. Like I, I love Minecraft. I never stopped loving it. Oh jeez, why am I saying that? I never stopped loving it. What? Could have sworn I was gonna fall in the void again. Cause you know, once the resource on this is gone, it's gone. You know, it's not like.
Okay, that was creepy. <laughs> um, yes, welcome to Creepy Minecraft with Daniel. I'm host Daniel. And that was the scream meaning. Shoot, that's more. Why is all the lava starting to up that? That is an end of spawner. That's actually pretty fortunate, I gotta say. Have an end of spawner. Because then it means that we can, um, get end of pearls. Okay, um, shoot. Okay, so which way do I go now? Okay, what? Why am I at now? I'm just gonna keep referencing this, aren't I? Uh, I am at Y one seventy three, so I've descended twenty blocks from my spawn point now. Oh shoot, that's burning my resources now, isn't it? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, there's a lot of lava over here too, so I gotta watch out for that. And I am. See, leaves. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try. Oh, there's a chest down there. So these chests actually have items in it, and sometimes it could be useful. I'm gonna try break these leaves. I don't know which ones they are. I'm see if I can get a sapling. Come on, lady luck. No sapling. Okay, that is iron. See, there's some more leaves. That's a web. Can't jump on that. Ah, uh, sprint jumping. Damn it! Okay, more leaves. I just w I want the leaves so I can get the saplings, so I can get the trees and not have to worry about. Jeez, and I thought. And I thought you had to worry about losing your saplings in Skyblock. This is... much worse. Like, at least in Skyblock there was, like, s at least some sort of reassurance that you actually had a chance of getting a sapling and... finally small wood. You know, it felt like there was more of an opportunity to get a sapling in Skyblock, whereas in this you're just limited to, um... You limit to, uh, what's it called? You're limited to, like, having to find, actually, like, physically find the leaves and then hope you can get a sapling, because this stuff's not going to decay because of the way block updates work. Uh, see, there's some more updated lava. I swear, if I'm going to... Alright, I've got to stay wary of that one. Well, pretty much like just when I'm under lava in general. Now that's going to cause me to fall. So. Where is. Can I go? It's going to go this way because I can see both wood and leaf and I fell. You see, I, I keep flinching, right? Like, I see it and then. Okay. Gravel. See, that's another thing you gotta look out for. That gravel, that could really get you. Okay, cool, no block update, that's nice. But I know, like, the moment you put something on it, it's instantly gonna fall, because gravity isn't disabled. I don't even think you can disable gravity without a, um, data pack. And, I mean, I don't even know, because I'm playing in 1.8, because I hate the. I hate anything. Well, not anything, but I. I hate the combat stuff that came with 1.9, and I refuse to play with it, so I just... I'm getting dangerous quest of that lava, or is that a new one? Point is, I hate the 1.9 um, combat stuff, so I just don't play on anything beyond... Wow. Wow, and now we have updated water. Okay. I'm just gonna fall. At least... <sighs> It's better than taking a lot of damage, though. Yep, go on, drop me. I dare you. I don't want to... Actually, I shouldn't take any damage from this fall. 
Hey! Hey! Oh, okay, I'm not gonna sing. You don't need to see me sing. In fact, that's for my... That's wool. Now, if you want to hear me sing, that's what my second channel's for, so I guess let's get into that now. That is not a sapling. Okay, I'm going to turn all this up. Yep. I should have shift clicked it. Shift. One, two, three. Just do that. I'm probably not going to come back here anyway, so just gather up as much wood as possible. Can't go that way. Unless I... Alright, I'm going to jump it again. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess this would be a good time as any, since I've brought it up now to talk about, um... You know, where I've been, what's been happening, and what is going to happen. So, that is nice. I'm going for that chest, by the way. Oh, great, more block updates. I don't know if that one's there. That's just started for that... I think what's happening is I'm loading in new chunks, and then whenever I do, it causes all the blocks to update. Again, talking. Oh, I have a piston. That isn't. Actually, a, p a piston might be quite. Ooh, diamonds. Piston might be actually uh, useful. a small bridge. Okay, so, firstly, um, I guess, where have I been for the past... Oh, jeez, how long was it since I last made a, um, Empire War video? I was gonna make another one, I, I'm gonna be honest, I was gonna make another Empire War video. I actually filmed it and everything, but, um, I wasn't satisfied with the results, and I had to redo the Battle of Felucia, I think? Like, for some reason, either it didn't save or I didn't save. Something didn't save, so I had to do it again. So I recorded it like it was gonna be like it was gonna be the next episode, but um, of Empire at War. But come on, come on, come on. Wrong button. <laughs> um, yeah, it was gonna be the next episode of Empire at War, and just explaining things. But a lot of stuff uh, happened during that recording session, like interruption-wise. And I just wasn't happy with the quality. Like, I know this is probably a low video quality. It's because I'm using fraps. Let's see. Flint and steel, birch saplings, ghast, and a villager. Sapling for sure. Uh, flint and steel, not the ghast. Take a villager. Just so... Because then I'll be able to trade for something. I keep the flint and steel. Okay. I... See, you could theoretically go to the never here, so... What I'll do is take the last egg, that's for sure. That is just music. I thought I heard the doorbell. And just take my chest. But I'm going to get rid of the ghast egg. That was... I thought I set my graphics to fan fast. Okay, I don't know what that's all about. Um. Yes, so I was planning to make another Empire at War video. But, you know, I just wasn't satisfied, and I said, um... Like, I never... I couldn't even be bothered editing it, you know? That's how much I didn't really care about it, so... I just... I... Space. I hit space, alright? I hit space, I jumped, but it didn't let me jump. I don't even know where my original spawn is anymore. I know it was at zero or something. Like, if I just go back to my chat log... Um, wrong button. Yeah, zero... 193.4 So I'm probably, a, I was probably a little bit away from the actual world spawn Actually I don't, no, what's, I don't know Okay, I'm gonna head that way just so I can get the other chest So yeah, I um, made Empire at War next episode And I said, yeah, no, I don't want to do this And I, like I still have the things And if you guys want, I will publish that, but I had a lot of, um, f things happen during the video, like I said, and I just literally did not care. Actually, no, sorry. I'm going to use that water to climb, but pig spawner, I think I might actually just turn my difficulty back up now, oh, set to easy. 
I could have sworn I just saw Leafs Cake. Um, oh no, I'm scared. So, yeah, I just said, you know what, I don't care about this video, and... But if you guys want me to, like, if I get, like, enough backlash or whatever, I'll probably post it, but... There is literally nothing I'm proud of that video. Get with the creepy noises. See, this is what we need. That's good. I don't know why I want a magma cube. Or a squid. I'll, I'll, I'll keep the magma cube because you know I can get magma cream. And apparently that's good for something. Wow, I have my really bad skin that needs updating. Now, do I want to try and climb that? No, I don't. Do I want to go? Want to get coal? Just talking about elimination. So, um, and after that, so that was, anyways, I tried to make the next episode of Empire at War, if, like, um, well, maybe three months ago, I think. I don't remember when or why, other than the fact that I just said to myself, um, you know, I need to come back, I owe it to my fans that are non-existent. And, um, But it, but yeah, it never happened, unfortunately. So I just kept, what uh, so I just kind of kept floating the channel in limbo as I continued on with life. And it make, and what makes that even worse is the fact that I um, I graduated recently, like, now, and this is when time, like, countries and stuff come to play, because typically I'm just going to make an assumption that, you know, a good portion of my audience is, um, non-Australian, you know, it's, like, I'm sure maybe I've got a few Australians on my list, but, like, next to none, and the way the school year works in Australia is that it actually starts in February and ends in December, and it's, in my opinion, simpler, but, I don't know, it's, maybe it's not, I don't know, I don't care. You know, our, you know, our seasons are inverted, so what's the difference? So yeah, I graduated about eight months ago, and I just haven't been doing anything. And, oh jeez, I am... If I sound stuffy or anything, that's just because I'm sick at the moment. I, but I want to get this video out because of, um... Because I want to do with my life. Yeah, can't even talk right. Because of what I'm trying to do with my life, so... As I said earlier, I have a second channel. Now, you're probably wondering... I'm not going to stay on that ice, actually. Uh, you're probably wondering, you know, why have I got a second channel? What's the second channel about? Because, in case you haven't noticed, I'm moving away... Well, I was trying to move away from a uh, Minecraft exclusive content, which is also why I went from, M from Minecraft with Daniel D to MCWDD, which, you know, it's the same thing... But it's also, you know, it's it's what I call myself on pretty much every game I own. And come on, give me the sapling. Yes, we got a sapling. Cherish it like the god, the god's nectar. It's a nectar of the gods. So maybe we should try and get to the top. Um. Yes. Sorry. Um. Second channel started. I mentioned it. Um. Oh jeez, I lost my train of thought. Yes, right, sorry. So, um, yeah, so like like I was saying, I tried to move away from doing uh, Minecraft exclusive content to do other things, and in a sense, I started doing that. And hence, again, why I changed from Minecraft to D with to MCWDD. So I could be a gaming-focused channel and instead of Minecraft-focused. And unfortunately, it didn't matter what I did, it probably didn't pan out well, because Minecraft slowly faded to obscurity until quite recently. Yeah, it's a... What, why am I at? 153, and my bridge is over there. 
I'm gonna try and head over to that. Oh yeah, good them good pass cork skills. I retract the I retract the statement. I'm just gonna keep using wood because it's something I'll be able to keep using and it's Trying to be smarter with this wood though. Like once we start if I can make a cobblestone generator actually I don't know my crafting bench. Should have picked that up because I didn't account for falling. Let's make another one. Um yes. Um I keep getting off track, I'm sorry, but this is you know, I like doing conversation while I game. It's it's just who I am. If you don't like it, well then get off my channel. No, I'm kidding. But seriously. But I'm kidding. But seriously. Um, yes. So, um, my second channel, um, after just talk... Okay, I'm gonna go for that chest. Um, cow, stone, I just have ghast. Thank you, Seth, for stacking my inventory full of useless items. Couldn't give me some food? Apparently not. Um, so, what is my second channel? I guess that's the question I should be answering. Um, and, to put it simply, um, I guess I'll just tell you the name at first. Uh, it's called, um, Stories by Dan, and, no, I'm not trying to be, like, those, um, you know, all those other channels where they're, like, um, focused on... You know, telling the embarrassing slash funny stories from their life. Now, because A, I don't have any of those, and B, I don't shoot water. You know, I don't. So this is how it ends. Let's wait to die. At least then I can go back to spawn. Wow, I will be back. All right, and I'm back. I think I fixed my spawn issue now. Okay, um, I now I have two crafting benches. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually Probably, since like, I'm going to keep respawning here, so I may as well set this up as my base and try and keep everything centralized here. Now, I know I can't lose anything because of, um, because of the way I've set the world, but, but, um, j just in case. Now, um, yes, stories by Dan. What is it? So... Um, this, so, it's not, oh, like, it, it is a passion project, like, MCWDD technically is supposed to be, but Stories by Dan is also supposed to be, um, a sort of career advancement, and, I am terrible. I am legit terrible. Um, yes, career advancement. And I say that because I actually want to try and get into a larger uh, sector of the entertainment industry. And spe and I specifically want to get into doing uh, screenwriting. And if you don't know what a, that is, um, screenwriting is essentially the, um, you know, the kind of guy who would write the movies, or the TV shows, or whatever. And the idea of Stories by Dan is to sort of act as a portfolio of sorts. And if you know what that means, that's great. If you don't, uh, when I say portfolio, I... Blah, I'll try and make sure that doesn't update. Um, basically a way of showing off, you know, what my talents are. You know, like this is how slash what I can write, you know, hire me. 
So, what I'm actually going to be putting up there is kind of, um, you know, my own fictional stories. And, but they're not going to be written, because obviously, really, I get the call, but not the, the experience. Because this is, of course, a YouTube channel, not, you know, not a Wattpad, not a fan fiction. It is a, um, it's a YouTube channel. So, I'm getting sick of falling. I'm sorry. Um, bye bye, Mr. Spider. Blank for a second there. Um, just trying to get back to my base of operations, so to speak. Alright, I need to plant a sapling. Got a flower. It's very nice. Oh, I have a lava bucket. I need to find some iron. Uh, right, back to task. Um, just empty up my inventory. Um, yes, so, and after I write my stories, the idea is that I'll put them uh, into an audiobook format, because, um, I don't know if you've noticed, but that's kind of... Like, entertainment in general is shifting more in the direction of YouTube. Like, I don't know if, like, you look at it, like, if you... Oh, jeez, how do I say if that sound like creep? Like, if you observe kids these days, like, say, if you've got a younger sibling or a friend who has, you know, young kids, you'll probably notice the fact that they like to watch people play games on YouTube or just YouTube in general, you know? Like, you look at uh, people like uh, Wolfie Chu or It's Alex Clark or, you know, any of those that, like, have their own stories to tell, they're usually at the forefront of, um, these things. And that's what what most audiences are looking at now, you know, um, TV in general is just becoming, uh, more, that's sand, um, is becoming more, I suppose you could say, obscure to audiences. And, you know, we're heading more in a direction of these, um, smaller amateur creators, you know, the thing where essentially everyone gets a chance to show what they're capable of. And again, on my voice, I am sorry. Wait, where'd my base go? Don't want to go for the chest. Oh, it's right over there. <laughs> Don't even know where I was headed. It's a nice time. Ooh, iron. Going silent for some reason. Um, yeah. So the YouTube platform is becoming more popular, and you know, if people want stories, they'll probably watch. Um, you know, a storyteller like. Okay, I just saw an Enderman, and I don't know where he is now. So now I'm really scared. Like he shouldn't. It shouldn't pick up blocks here, but it's still scary to know there's Enderman running around. Yes, so, um, you know, entertainment is generally heading in the direction of amateur YouTube content. Not all of it's amateurish. Like, if you look at maybe, um, Aphmau, for example, a lot of her, uh, Minecraft roleplays are comparable to... ...are comparable to that of, um, actual production TV shows. You know, so, um... So, you know, typically if people want fictional stories, they'll watch... You know, that sort of content, or maybe they'll... Or maybe they'll look at, for example, comics, you know? Um, YouTubers like a comic historian who take existing comics and then, you know, essentially translate them into a um, an audiobook format. And that's kind of what I want to do with um, my new channel, is kind of create my own audiobooks. And... Um, You know, and uh, share them to the world with 
and they're going to be like original stories as well. Maybe the odd fan fiction here or there, but they're all going to be, you know, my own pieces of work and my own stories, you know? And then, of course, turn into audiobooks. Because, heck, even if you don't know the name Audible, I honestly am questioning... Question, questioning. I'm honestly questioning who you are watching because Audible, they literally will sponsor like every YouTuber. Like If you look at some of your favourite YouTubers, I guarantee at some point through their history, they will have a history with Audible. Like Even some of the uh, really... I, I want to say, like, like, just getting out of, like, gaming for a second, but if you look at, like, um, Austin Evans, who is a, I suppose you could say, renowned, um, tech YouTuber, you know, he, if you look, go back and watch a lot of his older videos, you'll actually see he used to, um, be sponsored, uh, by Audible. And there's nothing wrong with Audible, except that, um, you know, unless you're willing to make hundreds, if not thousands of accounts, you know, you have to pay for their books. Now, and I'm not saying that I'm just going to fall. So here's a stronghold. Now, I'm not saying um that YouTubers aren't allowed to make a living. Or, sorry, I'm not saying that people aren't allowed to make livings. But what I am trying to say, though... Is that, um, that, you know, I want to create good stories uh, in an audiobook format that are more easily accessible, you know? You know, I, 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 of course, I believe people should have to pay for quality content, but I also believe that some forms of quality content should at least be available to the public for little to no cost. Like, say, for instance, uh, free-to-air TV or... Freeview, if you want to call it. Those kinds of things, you know, you get those free TV channels and they provide um, and, you know, they provide some, some form of entertainment. And that's typically what I'm trying to go for with Stories by Dan. And in addition to that, now, this is probably where I'm technically going to drop another bombshell on you. Oh, excuse me, um, is because I'm also slowly becoming a voice actor. And, you know, again, voice actors need a way to kind of um, showcase their own capabilities. And I believe that, you know, uh, doing, like, this audiobook sort of thing, I can demonstrate... Um, Not only my vocal talent, like just like for simple my basic voice, but I can also represent the different kinds of accents. So it's kind of like having an audio reel, but also not. And if you don't know what that means, you know, an audio reel is. I didn't just do that. Yet yeah, having an audio reel is kind of like a way of saying, you know, here's my voice, here's what I do. And it also just gives people an easier way to find me. So, you know, you got... And you know, not every voice actor does, like, content that is 100% focused on voice acting. You know, if you look at, um... The Dragon Hat, or Cast in the Voice. Yes, I know I'm listening. Talk about a lot of Aphmau stuff, but hey, I'm a fan, alright? Cut me some slack. Um. Wait, why did I make a hoe? I don't even have seeds. I'll sort of that later. What's I gonna make? I need to find a chest. Um, yes. So, you know, aside from, like, their voice acting stuff, um, you know, creators like the Dragon Hat or Cast in the Voice, you know, they do other things which 
you know, in a, in addition to, like, just showing off, you know, like, like, just, you know, putting their own content on their own channel, it's a great way to show off, like, their own voice. Like, um, like, Keston, for example, he likes to, um, he likes to sometimes sing on his channel, which, which is, um, which is fine, you know, he's allowed to do that. I'm just going to cheat now. No, I'm not. I'm running out of wood. Oh, I see why I did that. <laughs> just realising something I could do without even realising it. Minecrafting pro here. Thank you, water. Okay, that's a scary thing. Alright, so that's my bases. No! Okay. Okay, see, that freezing tells me that I'm in a winter biome. So yeah, basically, I'm a voice actor now. Stories by Dan. Um, check it out when it launches. I mean, the channel's up, and if you can find it, well, that's great. Maybe I'll leave a link. But, um... But, at this point, um... You know, there's nothing on there. I'm still working things out. And, again, not only will it um just be my stories, it'll also be me uh, demonstrating... Um, what am I demonstrating? Yeah, what I can do as a voice actor. Now, I'm just going to stop talking about that. It's not that I don't like talking about it, but I'm honestly... If I'm being completely honest, it's getting a bit... Um, Oh, here we go. It's melted again. That's nice. Because I want to get back to the Minecraft. Here we go. Now, if I remember correctly, just take one of these, and there we go. Melon seeds. Sweet. Now we have a food source, which is something we need to... I, well, me. Yeah, but it's something I need to get for myself here. And mel melons aren't the greatest, but they do something. Now, um... I don't know how long I've been playing this for. I think... Okay, I want to go see what's in that chest first, and then I think I might call it there. Take two! Oh, there is, um... Did I seriously, like, mine out this entire area? So, hang on, I need to check this. Uh, biome, biome, tiger. Yeah, that is... Jeez, Seth, you couldn't have put this in a, um... Something a little bit warmer, you had to go for a tiger biome. If you don't know what a tiger biome is, well, that's fine, um... Not everyone would, I guess. Uh, you know, target biome is essentially your snow. Which is why, you know, that torch is going to stay there. It's going to keep it warm. It's not going to freeze again, but... I want to I want to see if that would work, though. Like, like actually going out to, like, um... Well, not, I suppose not the Arctic, but... Somewhere where there's actually, you know, real life talking here. Somewhere where you would find, um... This music's getting creepy. Um, you know, somewhere where it is cold. And, um, you know, just putting down, like, a source of heat. You know, like, one that preferably would keep going, one that wouldn't go out. And just put water nearby and see, you know, would it melt, would it freeze up eventually, or would it stay, um... Would it stay, um... You know, would it melt, or would it stay... 
sorry, would it freeze or would it stay um not frozen? That is clay, isn't it? Yes. I never really understood clay. I'm gonna be honest, I never understood clay in Minecraft. Okay. Oh, there we go. Just gonna make a bridge. <gasps> oh boy, cave spider. Okay, this is nice. We got diamond tools, that's nice. Let's grab the chest, because why not? Very nice. Now we know keep down the middle. So now I know which way my base is. That's going to be very helpful. Thank you, Seth Bling. You did something. Like, I mean, yeah, you always do something. But you did something... You did something good. Okay, so am I at 193 yet? Because I'm just about out of dirt. 192. Pretty much am. Yeah, okay. I don't know why, but I always like having my hand selected. Put that in my inventory. I don't want to actually spawn a squid. Let's get back to my base, and I guess that's where I'll call it. I'm keeping the water. I'm keeping that water. Ow, is that a... Ow. Okay. And I guess that's it. I'm not even going to try and save myself. Alright, well that seems like a good place to end the episode. Um... This has been Sky this was Skygrid. I'm your host MCWDD and until the next one stay crafting. See, that's when you know when I'm out of the game. Yes, this has been Skygrid. I'm MCWDD and I'll see y'all next time.